hopefully with the projects that I bring to you, you can work the same way that I do and work in a coordinated way, uh, which helps to achieve the best results that we can get as paper crafters. Really looking forward to seeing you all on Oak Chanda, so please join me for my show where I can share some of my hints and tips with you. Hi, my name's Jodie Johnson from the Tonic Studios. Now, how did I start crafting? I started just after school. I actually went to Catering College and I started as a pastry chef. And that's where all my skills came when I was moulding and shaping the petals. I was that lady making the cards, making the gifts, going to the farmer's markets. But I was in the right place at the right time. And I ended up with a job at Tonic Studios by somebody showing Tonic my, my work. My dad always said, if you want a precise job, you need the correct tool. Now, I thought he was joking when he talked about planes and chisels and all that business. But if you do want the correct tool, Tonic is going to provide that for you. Now, here at Achanda, we share all our skills, all our experience, all the little hints and tips with you. So come and join me here on, on Achanda with Tonic Studios. Good evening, my name is Alex and I'm joined by Paul. Hi Alex. Hi, it's nice to be working it together is. again. It's fantastic. One, One day, day only. only. <laughs> Jinx! Wow, look at that spooky, we could have a good show here. So, One Day Special knocked it out of the park as usual. I know, Over 45% of the stock gone uh, after one live hour. You know, it's always crazy here with Clarity. So now I believe this is, this is like another addition to the it collection. Is. This is our third collection of dyes. Um, so the first collection was our botanicals. Yep. Um, we then did the Art Nouveau and now we've got the beautiful Floral Friends. Mm. Um, and it is just a stunning collection. Um, they're all aperture dyes. Okay. And what I mean by aperture, if we look at the front here, where we've got this grey area, for example, imagine that as your card blank. Yeah. And so when you cut out the die, it stays within the card blank. Mm -hmm. So it's not a piece that just is a like a topper and stuff like that. So it stays within the card. Yeah, you've got some samples so, here. So yeah, so if we have a look here, so this one here, this is the um, chamomile. Um, so you can see we've just cut this out of our card blank, um, but we've put black behind it. And you can see how it just stays within the car. It's really nice. Um, it's very effective. It is. And then on the reverse, we've then got it in the black. So for me, just doing something like that, if you're yep. batch card making, this is so easy. So let's have a look at the other designs. And okay. which one was that one? So that was chamomile. OK. Um, then we have cornflower. So this is really nice because, again, when you look at them and you look at the detail, this flower in the middle, you can actually cut out mm. and do individual flowers as well. Yeah, good idea. So just because the die comes how it is doesn't necessarily mean that's how it needs to stay. No, very easy shapes to cut out too. Exactly, yeah. Yep. Nothing too So fussy. that's that one there. Then we have um, Daisy. Oh, I like that So this that is one. a really nice one. This is great for paper piecing because there's some big areas on there. We'll get that right. And then if I turn that one round, there we go. The black and the white. I love them in the silhouette. It is, mm. and, and for me, that's <laughs> what sort of like the paper cutting is all about. 
Um, so the next one here is Marigold. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> uh, Marigold, mm -hmm. and we'll turn that one round. And but don't they look so different? They just do. Just on the white or just on the black? Yeah, and, and I can't wait to using, see some of the samples as well. And this is just using our um, card blanks. Um, so this one here, oh, there we go. Uh, that one there is um, periwinkle. Mm -hmm. So again, all loads of lif different flowers in there because they're called um, floral f um, floral um, friends. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, and then the final one is primrose. Uh, there we go, oh. primrose. And then we've got the beautiful black silhouette there. And I think, you know, with these dyes, I mean, who doesn't love flowers anyway? But the point is that they are for any occasion. That's you right. could use them for literally anything. So you can see you've got these six sets of dyes, but that's not all you're getting. You are also getting the II book. Um, so you've got 30 projects in here to give you some lovely inspiration, some great ideas. There we go. Do you want to have a flick through that? I will indeed. So the idea behind the II book, so ideas and inspiration, and from what people tuning in will realise is that when we've done Groovy before, what we've done, Groovy is so sort of intricate and stuff like that. And when we're showing samples on the TV, they only get shown for sort of like seconds. Yeah. Um, so what we tended to do was then bring out an II book afterwards. But what we've found that with the dyes, because this isn't all new to Barbara, um, it, the dye world is sort of like completely alien. Um, mm -hmm. So she thought it was a really good idea if we got the design team, which is Sheila Metzler, uh, Wendy Forborn and Dee Paramore, to come up with Ooh. the samples and then we'd put them in the II book. So if people are new to dyes exactly like Barbara is, when they buy the one day special, they get this book as well. And as soon as they got it home, they've got ideas of what to do. That is the thing. And look, you've got so many different ideas in here. 30 projects to get you started. I love looking at other people's samples because it just... And it doesn't mean you copy them exactly either. No, exactly. I mean, just because someone's used one particular design, you yeah. could use another one. Someone's used red, you can use green. Mm. It gives you the, the inspiration, basically. Now, so. Um, so this will come with the one day... Oh, that was your one. Yep. <laughs> I was about to put it back on the stand. No. <laughs> now, take a look at what you can do. So you can see it's so versatile. This is a really pretty one. This is really nice. So this one's done by D. So again, what we've also brought to you today is the nested circles as well. Um, and again, it's using a car blank and D's cut out half a circle and put acetate behind it. So it gives the illusion of like a floating car, doesn't, doesn't it? I like that. It's very grand. Oh, now look at this. So layering it up, this looks really pretty. Yeah, so this is really clever. And you look at it, and I don't know if yeah. you can hold it at an angle, Alex, you'll yeah. see that it's actually three-dimensional. Um, and in the book, Dee guides you for exactly how you can recreate that. So again, it's a crossover with stamps. Mm -hmm and dies. Uh, oh, and look at this with the inky this is goodness. Another one, again, another one from Dee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so again, Dee's just taken parts of the, um, the die and cut it out on our um, petite card toppers. Um, so again, you don't have to use all of the die completely. Look at this, so grand. Who's this one by? This one is, I'm going to Oh, out. sorry. That, that's Wendy, <laughs> right? Wendy Forburn. Isn't um, that so glorious? So lovely little easel card offset with acetate behind it. And then we'll bring this one in. So you can see they're all so different. You've got so much potential, whether you make them, because flowers can be grungy too, yeah, or definitely. really pretty. You can glitter them up. Whatever so style. Sheila's done this one, um, and she's just put some glitter card behind it, and then she's used the pencils to add colour to mm. the dye. Beautiful. So. Oh, and look at this with the texture. Hang on, I'll just bring uh, this that's in. That's another one from Sheila as well, so another easel card. But when you compare something like this, which is sort of clean and yep. crisp, and then you've got more of a sort of a tatty vintage one. Mm. It just shows the comparisons between the different types of dye. Yeah. And there's no circle to that one at all. Isn't that clever? Yeah, so you cut the cut the cut middle the, out? Yeah. That is excellent. All right, we'll definitely show you some more samples in a short while. I do need to tell you that nearly half the stock has gone of our brand new one day special. Wow. So this is what you're getting. You've got the chamomile and friends aperture dye. You've got the cornflower and friends aperture dye. I'm just going to miss the and friends aperture dye now, right? You've got the marigold, <laughs> you've got the primrose, the daisy and the periwinkle. Plus you're getting the Clarity II book, uh, Die Cutting Floral Friends, an inspiration guide. Now it is on FlexiBuy, so you can spread the cost, two payments of 39.97, or if you go for it outright, it's 79.93, you are saving 21 pounds. It's nearly a die and a half that you're not paying for if you want to think about it like that. 010332 is your item number.
Then the next thing that we've got, which of course, if you can, please go for these circles as well as the one day special because they're designed they're perfectly. They're designed specifically to work with the dies as well. I mean, a lot of people have got nested circles and squares and rectangles and stuff like that. Um, but all of our dies, when we come to use them, you'll see they're blue mm. and they've got a special um, coating on them. So right. it makes it easy to release. But I mean, when we look at that sample that Sheila's done next to the I circles, love this. Isn't it clever? I thought this was fantastic. Yeah. And all it is is using our designer paper and card just to cut out different circles. But isn't that a great card for yeah. a man? We're or in space a young boy? now with this. Yeah, exactly. All the planets. Um, and when I opened it, I just thought, wow, how simple mm. but clever is it? That is gorgeous. Love it. So you need these, and we've got to show this. This, this is I, fantastic. I went straight to this. This is so clever. Are you ready? So this is a little mobile Sheila's created again. So it's just using the circles and we've got the little dangly umbrellas. Cute! Absolutely fantastic. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, so, so much potential you can do with these. These are not just any circles. Now, if you want to go <laughs> for these, um, $17.99 if you're a Freedom member, <clears throat> or $19.99 if you're not. 782377 is your item number. Now, nearly two-thirds of the stock has gone wow. of our nesting dies. Right, okay, so um, we are in the middle of our event. Oh, do excuse me, I've got a frog. We're in the middle of our event, which is, um, I've forgotten the name of it. <laughs> family <laughs> favourites, I've been up since 4.30. <coughs> right, family favourites, which means <clears throat> we have been announcing a winner at the end of every hour. In order to be in with a chance of winning this prize, you just need to make a purchase during this hour. You'll be entered into the prize draw and then we'll announce the winner at the end of the show. So these are the flowers and foliage dies. They're worth just under £60, so this is a really, really good prize to win. And we'll also be announcing a second winner of somebody to come into the studio on the 24th of August, which is our third birthday, and you can get to peruse the studios. Mm -hmm. So, that, so there's nice. going to be two winners today at the end of this show. And we'll have Bubbles and Cake, Meg's cake. telling me. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, probably. Cake. She's guessing, she says. <laughs> right, she's, she, disclaimer, she's backtracking now. <laughs> You probably will. <laughs> all right, then, so all you need to do is give us a call, 01733602000, or check out on the website at herchanda.com. Over to you, Paul. Right, OK, what I thought I would do, I mean, we've got a selection that have already been cut out, and what I wanted to do is I'm, I've got the Indian Summer Designer paper here, and what I love about this is that when we cut out the, the aperture um, and we place it over the, the different backgrounds, we can see I like that. how it changes. So just by moving it around you'll see mm. that it gives a totally different feel. When you're at the top, it's quite moody. Yeah. Look. And then Ooh. you bring it down into a Sunset. sort of a lighter area. And then we can come over onto this side. Um, maybe that one's a little bit too busy. Um, but you, you can just work through, because a lot of people have got the designer. Mm. We'll go over here to the well, purple like area. Um, and then we go into the pink. Spring. See, and it just changes it. So I know a lot of the viewers <coughs> have got the various different um, paper and parchment um, and also the card toppers as well. So for me, just sort of when you're, you're working, for, especially for cat batch card making, if you just cut out and then you just go through and look at the, the papers you've got, it completely changes the effect of the cards. Lovely. So no mm. two have to be the same. Gosh, I mean, can you imagine how many cards very easily you can make using this paper, well, exactly. these dies? I mean, in the pad you get 48 sheets, yep. um, you've got 12 different designs, so you've got four of each. So if you went with the 5x5 five five cards, you could probably cut that into a quarter mm. and just have enough to do that. Um, so it really is a good thing to do. And they're quick. Ooh, I mean, look, look at that's that. That's nice. Sort of again, it just changes it completely, just depending on where you move it more into the tills. Okay. Yeah, lovely. So I thought what I'd do is because this is new to you and it could be new to people watching at home, I was going to simply just cut out um, one of the dies. So there's six there, pick any one. Okay, I think I really like the. Is that it the one. daisies? I think that is daisy, that yeah. one. So black or white card? Mm. Mm. <laughs> white, white, white. <laughs> white, okay. okay, it's right on top. Okay, so what we're going to do, um, we're going to take the um, Gemini, and this was a really good tip from D. Okay. Um, when you're using plates, I mean, I've got loads of different die-cut machines, and one of the, the biggest issues with die-cut machines is that the plates, bec 
wear and tear and yeah. everything else. Well, one of my biggest problems that I had in the past, if I was using black card and you cut into the plate, mm -hmm. it would leave a fibre within the plate, it yeah. embeds. So if I then went on with white and cut something over it, sometimes those fibres would transfer. So Dee said, all you need to do is these mm. pockets, these document pockets, and it helps prevent that. See, I would never have thought really, of that. Really, really simple. Yeah. No, I mean, it's a fantastic um, idea from D. Because that's exactly the problem I have. Like you said, there's like residue of the card fibres. Yeah. It's really annoying. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to put that on top, and I'm going to have the die cutting face down, and then I'm just going to take a piece of low-tack tape, See, I can offset it. Mm. You can sort of, depending on the size of the card that you're doing. Oh, and just to mention the card blanks, I mean, hand in hand, eh? Look at the size. Pre scored already. It's perfect yep. with these dies. They're at the bottom of the screen 40 black and 40 white card stock for $29.96. And the reason we bought you the, the card blanks was because we wanted something that we could that would work alongside the dies. Um, so the white ones are 300 GSM mm -hmm. and the black are 290. Right. And it's very difficult to actually get black card Ooh. blanks. Yep. Um, so I'm going to open up my sandwich now. Okay. And then I'll just carefully remove the tape without tearing the card. There we go. And what I want to show you, Alex, this is... Um, Previously, before Barbara and Dave got married, we was collecting this as confetti. Really? So we need That's somebody so else. To, we need somebody else to get married. Um, so if I lift this up, you can see how easy. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm just flicking it. Sometimes it, with the dies, you're sort of there picking You've got to get for your hours. Tool. But look, totally Perfect. clean. Nothing on there at all. Okay. So I'll pop that over there, and when I lift this oh, away, oh, even the pieces. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. How. Elegant. I'll give you that one. I just okay. clear this bit up, just so that you can sort of see how easy it falls apart. Really clean cut, isn't it? And just look at that imagery. It's just absolutely and beautiful. And that's all because the dyes have got a special coating on them. The blue coating. The, the blue clarity coating. coating. Yeah. Um, so what we'll do. So that's exactly how they work, and that's okay. how they're designed to work as an aperture within the car blank. Love it. Okay. okay. So this is what we're going to do. This is now where we're going to cross over. Um, and bring parchment into play. Uh -huh. um, so you can see how delicate that is. It is. Look at that. But because the parchment's translucent, you get that beautiful effect from it. Okay. And then on this one, I'm also going to be using the nested circles as well yep. to create the frames. It's so to delicate. To give the effect of mm. matting and layering. Really nice. Okay. So to start off with, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in a card blank. So I'm actually using a bigger one this time because I've sort of I thought I'll change it slightly. And then what I'm going to do, let's just bring the card into play so I can just remember which sure. die I want to cut out. So I'm going to cut that one out there in the middle. So again, I can decide exactly where I want to position that. But I'm going to go straight in the middle. Take another bit of tape. Mm -hmm. And again, we've just popped the card blanks on the side of the screen for you. 2996-871-709. You do have different sizes, 5x5, five 6x6, by 7x7 five, six by six, seven by seven, and 8x8. Eight eight. 20 sheets of each. All right, there we go. So we'll just pop that one through there to start with. Yep. And I take it these dies are fine for any machine? Yeah, they work in most um, leading die cutting machines. Mm -hmm. All it will be down to will be um, different sandwich combinations. Yeah. Um, and some of them ha require more pressure in the middle than others. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I've tried them on, um, I've got loads of different die cutting machines because I've been using dies for years. Um, so we did test them on all the different ones um, and say some needed more pressure sure. than others. So don't throw that one away, keep that because that can be used for something Absolutely. else. Absolutely, matting okay. and layering. So we'll pop that over there to one side. So that's given me my car blank. So again, this can be used for anything. Um, you could stamp mm -hmm. into it, whatever. It's a nice aperture. So we'll pop that to one side. Now we're going to take a piece of um, parchment. And I think this one is from Indian Summer. Oh, I was going to ask which one. It, I think so. Is it Indian Summer? It was on my notes. I've forgotten. Oh, Meg is Meg. Meg will is have looking. a look. Um, Guess which one um, Barbara gave me. Well, Indian she gave me two. Summer. No, um, she gave me Northern Lights, but guess which other one? From the original first ever From set. From the original ones. Um, Where am I from? Which one? Where am I 
Where am I from? Where are you from? Brighton Rock? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Sorry, it's been a long day. Well. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut this in, in the middle of the parchment because the reason being is I want a larger frame around it. So again, with the nested circles, you can decide on how big a frame you want. Mm. But because I'm going to attach it on the inside, I need it to be bigger so I can run the tape runner around it. Yeah. Okay, so I could take that down, but I'm going to risk it. For a biscuit? <laughs> Haven't I said that for ages? <laughs> you watch, I'll come out now, it'll all be slanted. But we can still No, but work then that's with quirky, it. and it's that's quirky. what we want. And it's going on the inside of the card. There you go. So. <laughs> it's all good. Um, if you've got any questions, of course, send any questions to studio at hachanda.com or you can call in and uh, answer, we'll answer your questions live on air. There we go. It moves. I, personally, I like that. I think it works well, actually. Yeah. Um, so, again, we'll just remove the tie and we're going to bring in our little waste box again. Okay. But you can see how it just falls out. Yeah. So, because it's parchment, it won't fall out as easy. So, what I'm using is a tool in one just to, to clear it out of the die. Because it's lightweight, um, but you see it just falls mm. out there. So we'll just push those. And these 20 ones are great for that. I mean, I could use the pointy end, yeah. but all I want to do is just release it from the die. Okay. Pop I used in. to play a game because I'm weird, which is um, <laughs> what what do you see in the waist of the die? You can see all sorts <laughs> of things. <laughs> it depends how, how what long a day you've had. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hallucinating. So right, so that's that cut out. So we'll put that to one side. <clears throat> if I just bring this in, and you'll see how delicate that, that is. is, especially with yeah. the parchment as well, and depending on where you position it. Oh, I okay. love that. I love all the all the colours in it. It's it, so pretty. I thought pretty. it worked perfectly for yeah. this, especially for a floral. Mm. So we're going to put that to one side, and then we're going to bring in another piece of the parchment, mm. and then this time I'm going to create the frame on the outside. So I'm going to go. Let me just measure over there. I'm going to go with these two. So cut side down. Mm -hmm. And what I'm now doing is creating a frame to go on the outside. And this time, I am going to take it. Yeah, <laughs> that's a bit too close for comfort, isn't it? So we'll just <clears> position <throat> that there, hold that in place. But I'm doing a demo tomorrow where I do actually offset the circles. Oh, that'd and be nice. it gives a really nice finish. Yeah. That's if we've got any stock left. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so. It's been a day of that, really, it hasn't has it? it? I mean, Barbara's um, the Twas the Night collection. We're absolutely stunning. Pretty much in the first hour, um, we're on yeah, for two. Yeah, it was crazy. Mm. That was a lovely show. Do um, uh, watch on Rewind. It was at two o'clock and three o'clock. Okay, so. Oh, quick mention just while you are untaping that. Right. The nested circles are nearly... 70% gone, 70% wow. of the stock gone. And that was a big stock as well. Yeah, it really was. They work brilliantly with the one day special, but obviously you always need um, nested dies in I your I think so, stash. for circles, yeah. yeah. I mean, especially when you look at what um, Sheila did to create those umbrellas. Yeah. Uh, that was cool. just fantastic. And I don't know about you, but I cannot cut a circle with no. scissors. Forget it. It no. just ends. You just end up keep cutting, keep cutting, keep cutting. And you and end it up with smaller. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, right. So we'll pop that to one side, and we can start the assembly now. So just pop that there. So we'll bring our card blank <laughs> back into play. Okay. And then I'm going to take the, um, the flowers that we cut out. And I'm going to take the Crafter's Companion Tape Runner because this is fantastic mm. to use with parchment because you don't see through it. Yeah, it's so and good. Especially with our design of parchment. So we're going to go around the outside, make sure we've got all the way around. And then what I'm going to do, I'm then going to line it up. And because I've got the black underneath, I can see whether I'm sort of going central. So I reckon it's about there. And then I'll just press down, and that's now open. And it's nice and clean on mm. the inside as well. So then when we turn it over, we've got that beautiful, there we go, see? And yeah. you've got the light coming through. 
That is true about the back because, you know, sometimes when I'm making a card, I get a bit frustrated that it doesn't look clean and then you're like, all right, now I've got to cut out some more circles to cover to that cover bit up. up. Yeah. That's the boring bit. You yeah. don't have to here. So, and then all I'm going to do now is the frame that I created from the other piece, again, just take the tape runner and just slowly go around and just go slowly. <laughs> I don't want to rip this because parchment's very delicate. Yeah. And then we'll go all the way around. You can stick to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a really good um, tape runner. Yeah. Um, I've been using it for years. All right, I think I'm almost there. There we go. And then bring that back into play. And then I'm just going to sort of, I'm not pressing down, I'm just going to hover it around until I'm happy with where I want it to go. And then Perfect. press that round. And that is simple but effective. Yeah, that is so but beautiful. But it gives the effect of matting and layering, doesn't it? Definitely. And, of course, these are the sorts of cards that you can, even if you're not sure what event or who you're going to give it to or what the occasion, make them, enjoy yeah. making them, and then at that last minute you go, oh, uh, I, I need... I forgot it's Dobity's birthday That's or right. it's their anniversary. It's perfect. And then you just use maybe one of the word chains to tie it in completely. Yeah. That's so nice. There we go. Demo one complete. Now, of course, um, as part of family favourites, what we've been doing this weekend is, you know, asking, is getting to know our guests and, and getting to know you know how you got involved yeah. with clarity um how did that happen actually how did um, you been with I've, I've known barbara for years and years and years and um we used to do various retail shows and um the lady i was working with at the time said oh that's barbara and she's been around for doing years with sort of loads of stamps yeah. and everything else um and they're all hand poured and handmade um so sort of wendy my friend introduced me to her and we sort of got chatting and she said, oh, could you make some samples, go on the design team? Mm -hmm. And what I then found out was that Barbara actually only lived 20 minutes down the road from me. That's good. And I really didn't know that at yeah. the time. Um, and then for about five or six years, she said, oh, can you come and work for me? Can you come and work for me? And I said, well, but I work in London. And I mean, I, I, did, complete, I did IT and accounting, so yeah. it's completely different. Um, because when I first met you, you were still just, just about, just to, about give up, to give yeah? up. Yeah. yeah. So it was coming up to... Um, Two, it's two and a half years now since I joined, but Dave became poorly when we did our annual retreats. Yeah. And I thought, you know what, life's too short. Um, so I decided after 14 years I'd give up my job in London. Best and move you've ever made, it eh? Is. I wish I'd yeah. done it sooner. Yeah. I really had when Barbara asked me five years before that. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a family. I mean, everyone gets on. Um, and it's sort of, you know that when you go into the office, people are there because they want to be there. That's They're right. not going in just for the sake of going in. Yeah. And for me, that's all part of the family side of it. It's got to have a nice working environment. Yeah. That's what we like. Mm. Now, you're also doing, currently doing open days, of course, which I've been to yeah, one, which I really to. enjoyed. Yeah. When's the next one? The next one is on the 8th of September, and it's our up north one. So it's in Leyburn, mm -hmm. near Catterick. Um, it's a fantastic day. It's on Saturday, the 8th of September. Um, and we've got loads of demonstrators, there's hourly raffles, mm. it really is a fun-filled day. And then when we have a look at the VT, I'll tell you about something special that's happening the day after. Oh, you tease. Mm. Right, we better have a look then. Here it is. Hi, Barbara here from Clarity Stamp. One of the highlights of the annual Clarity calendar is our open days. This is when we get together both up north and down south to celebrate all things clarity, stamps, stencils, and now, of course, groovy parchment art. Many of our talented design team put on a demo extravaganza which is sure to delight and inspire. And I've been known to wield a brayer myself. So for a day of education, inspiration, and fun, why not join us? It really is a fun day out. I can totally vouch for that. I had such a nice time at the one I went to. Um, so, one day special, the new addition to the collection. You have got, uh, this is all part of the Floral Friends, and you've got the Daisy, the Cornflower, the Chamomile, the Primrose, the Periwinkle, the Marigold, and you're getting that fabulous inspiration book as well. So, you know, you've got everything that you could possibly need to get you started. Now, I think it is important to show you lots of samples. So whatever your style, these are going to work for you because flowers, who doesn't love flowers? They're for any occasion. 
And of course, remember, you know, they're making those wonderful apertures. They're really great. So here we go. Nice, clean, simple design. And I believe that... Who made this one? Barbara did that. Oh, Barbara. Oh, OK. So did she use it, the, the um, die as a stencil. stencil? Ah, there yeah. we go. So this is Barbara's. <laughs> um, so it, uh, the, she did this at the 6 o'clock launch. So if you want to have a look, a catch up on Rewind. And then we've got this beautiful one. So this is using the designer paper or parchment I should say really pretty look at that little stitching detail around as well just finishes it off um, all right so adding a bit of dimension to it so you can see it's 3d there and that re is really nice especially that it's really nice bold in black isn't it really stands out and then those lovely colors in the background oh yes i wanted to show you this because it's you don't have to use the whole die so take out the center i mean i just think that is gorgeous bit of gild, um, gilding flakes going on and i think that is really really pretty and then we've got another one here let me just make sure this is the right way up there we go and this is really really nice as well so this is from this is by sheila and again, it's got that fantastic 3D dimension. I love it. So again, cutting the circle out, you don't have to leave it in the card. Oh, and look, this is called micro beads. What a clever idea. That's good, isn't it? I love this. There's so many different ideas. So of course, not, not just for making cards. Let's bring this one. That's nice, so it, a rocker card. Again, it lends itself to so many different designs, doesn't it? Oh, look at this one. Hang on. There we go. Let me bring this in. Is another version like that with the micro beads in the background. And as Paul was saying, you know, these dies are wonderful for paper piecing. Because I quite enjoy that. I think that's quite therapeutic because the, you know, like you could paper piece back in in the centres, the little uh, petals. Really nice. Look at this. So this one's just really clean and simple. What a nice, I mean, you know, you can make some nice large size cars with it, cards with this. There we are. So if you are stuck for ideas or, you know, perhaps you're new to die cutting. I mean, if I think back when this channel first started, somebody said to me, um, die cutting. And I went, what on earth is that? You know, so you might be new to the, and now I'm hooked, of course, but you might be new to the channel, just getting into craft. If you get the one day special and you'll get this along with it so that you know, you know, you've got projects to start. Because sometimes we have a blank, don't we? We have crafters block, as I like to call it. And you know you want to craft something, but you're not quite sure. Well, here it gives you um, the pictures, the step-by-step -step instructions of how to do it. And you know what? You, you tend to find that you, you think you're going to copy it exactly. And then you end up going, oh, I've had this brilliant idea. And, you know, I mean, look, is there lace in the background, I think? Isn't that a clever idea? That's really pretty. And then we're making it all fun. So this, n not leaving it in the circles, but cutting them out. Because, they, you know, you don't have to fussy cut too much at all. Oh, this is the one I showed you with the micro beads in the background. Very clever idea. Look at that. That's awesome. That's almost like it's under the sea, don't you think? So these projects have been done by Dee, Sheila and Wendy, part of the Clarity Design team. And you've got 30... Um, inspirational project in total. See, that's really different as well. It's funky, isn't it? So whatever your style, whether you're grungy, whether you're clean and neat, whether you like to splash on oodles of colour, there's something that will take your fancy in here. Now, we're over half the stock of the one-day special gone, and this is only halfway through the second live hour. So you're getting all of these beautiful dyes. Remember, they've got that special clarity coating, so they're really easy to release, you know, your cardstock from the dyes as well. Now, if you're going to go for this, it is £21. It's £21 saving. It's £39.97 if you're going on Flexi by two installments, or, of course, outright, it's £79.93. Your item number is 010332. Now, some other items that, might, that you might want to add to your baskets, the nested circles, which of course go brilliantly with the one-day special. We are over 70% of the stock gone. It's 19.99. You're getting 11 dies. Or with freedom, it's 17.99. That's a seven pound saving. 782377 is your item number. 
Then you've got the card blanks, which again have been designed to go absolutely perfectly with the one day special. Sometimes, I don't know about you, but I can't be bothered to, right, let me get the card, let me measure it, now let me get my score, uh, b yeah. scoring board out. No, no, no. So if you want to go for these, they save you a lot of time and hassle. Sometimes you just want to get straight in there and craft. So you've got lots of different sizes. Yep, so you've got 5x5, 6x6, 7x7 and 8x8. And these are perfect, even if you just want to chop them up for yeah. matting and layering. Um, because you've got the exact measurements there and that the white ones are fantastic for stamping on and colouring in. It's a really, really mm. good quality card sock. So you've got 40 for the black, 40 for the white in those different sizes. 29.96, 871, 709. Over to you, Paul. Okay, so I've changed the plan slightly. I'm going to go <clears> with <throat> this um, black and white dotted one. Um, I don't know if the camera yeah, is picking I up like those that. dots. Um, shall I hold it up? Yep, oh, okay. Yeah, Joe's going in. There we go. <laughs> look at that. So look how effective that is. And all it is, I've just cut it out of black card and then just done white dots. Yeah. Um, so you know when you looked at the um, parchment one where you had the white sort of like stitching? Yeah. It's the same type of effect. So I thought I'll do something like this because it's nice and it's something different. And for me, the black and white mm. is elegance. Okay. So we're going to start off with one of the um, card blanks, which I've just cut down. And then all I'm going to do is let's find the die. The die is just up there. So we'll position that into place. I will tape it down. <laughs> so I'm I, so using this idea from it's D. Fantastic. Thanks, D. I mean, depending on the, the detail on the die, yeah. um, sometimes they'll last about five or six times through the machine, sometimes they'll last longer. Right. So I'm going to position that centrally, just put that into place there complete our sandwich again and then just run that through the machine. So depending on um, which machine you've got, I mean you've got the Gemini, you've got the Gemini Junior as yep. well, obviously it just depends on the, the, the mouth of the, the machine will restrict you on the side of your car okay. blank. Yeah. Um, but if you've got but the these circles, ones, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you've got the circles then it's great because then obviously you can reduce that down in size. So we will just slowly peel that off. Ooh. And slowly does it. I know. Sometimes low tack tape and the pressure of the machines make it high tack. High tack. Yeah. So I'll bring my waist fin back in. And then we'll just release the die. And we'll just flick that. So even just flicking with your finger. I know, it just all comes out. And um, because of that special coating, yeah. look, how easy is that? Perfect. And then we'll lift that up of there. And this one is great for paper piecing because mm. there's not that many pieces that you'd have to go back and fill in. I quite like okay. paper piecing. That's something it you can do. It's really, the really telly. nice. Yeah, and if you've got scraps of card, um, it's great for using up those scraps. Mm. So we'll pop that down there. Did you really do paper confetti then for, for Barbara? Yeah. Yeah, that's so yeah. nice. <laughs> so. Like the die cuts, brilliant. Yeah. So I'm just going to bring the white card blank into place so it's easier <clears> to see. Because if I go on the black card, it's a bit more difficult. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a piece of black card. So this is the Pergamano pens. We've got them on the show. Um, so this is the mm. white one. And I'm just going to get the pen going. Um, and all you're going to do is just do dots. I mean, you could do dots and dashes. Morse code. Um, yeah, you could do that. <laughs> you could do the stitching effect. Mm. And all you're doing is you're just gently going round and sort of just building up. You just follow the design. So you go right. But I think it's really effective. And this is quite therapeutic as well. I know, I was just going to say, you can really get in the zone, can't you? Yeah. Zen and out. You, you sort of get carried away. Mm. I suppose it's a bit sort of zen tangly as well. Yeah, it isn't is. It? I was so, thinking that. Um, so if you're into your zen tangle, um, Anne Ruffles on our design team um, for our normal stamping. Um, she's um, a master of um, Zentangle. Mm. Um, she's got the certificates. Oh, um, she's done that? Yeah. Um, and I know that if she got hold of these, she would do some fantastic work mm. with these. Um, now we've put the details on screen for the Pergamano set of five gel pens. 1099 984 869. Are you still known as Pergaman back yes, at the back at yes. HQ? <laughs> yeah, I still look after Pergaman. That's still my baby. Um, yeah. So, so all we're going to do is just go through. 
So I'm not going to carry on doing all of it because it's quite boring sort of watching me just do white dots <laughs> on a bit of black card. But it gives you sort of the <laughs> idea of how you just go around and just build up mm -hmm. the design. But it is quite effective, yeah. isn't it? I mean, and already, just that one flower. It reminds flower. me of, sort of like the pearly king and queen type yes. thing. Yes, oh my goodness, yes. Effect. See, and then around the edge, you could then just do sort of like the dashes all the way around. It's so simple, but so effective. Yeah, just the black and white effect. Yeah, sometimes less is more. Yeah. See, and then all you would do once you finish, just attach it to the card. I've kept it small, but you could go onto a bigger background. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it. But it's just another way of just something yeah. if you you want to do that. Should bring that one in. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And how effective is that? Lovely. It's lovely, isn't it? Uh, so, Paul, I'll leave you for a second then, because okay. I know you've got a third demonstration. Yeah. yeah. Um, now we have got a really lovely finished sample VT, and I, we I, we were chatting before because apparently yeah. two of our crew members have got a bit of a competition going on. Well, I have to say, this particular VT. He's it done is. himself proud. It, yeah. <laughs> Here it is. And now I believe we are approaching 60% of the stock gone of the one day special and we're only into our second live hour since it launched and it's all about the Floral Friends collection. Oh, I actually managed to say that. I thought I was going to trip over my tongue then. There we go. Floral Friends Collection. And you have got six fantastic dies um, to really have a play with. You know, you can either leave them cut in, if you will, so you've got that aperture. Um, or you can do all sorts of things. So if you have a look at these finished samples, the, I mean, look at what you can do. This is just a piece of artwork, isn't it? It's so stunning. What a lovely gift to give to somebody. Really nice and contemporary. Meg's just said it's like modern art. I totally agree. Now, of course, remember, you don't have to leave them in the circles. This is a clever idea. It's just a nice little gift tag. So that's cutting out the centre of the flowers. And look all the way around the back. Isn't that pretty? Again, so effective. Really wouldn't take you that long to do. And then we've got our fabulous aperture and then a bit of glitter in the background. I love the glitter. And then, of course, using um, the designer papers... Oh, parchment. Let's have a look. I think, yeah, this is going to go like that. Isn't that pretty? That's really quite striking. You know, the moodiness, the silhouette, and then the colours of the um, the designer paper. Whoops, there we are. And bringing this one in. Oh, this is nice. Because so I think this is quite unisex, you know, using that craft card. That's such a nice combination. And, ah, then going into the, the realm of parching. That looks really nice on the parchment. Beautiful, really delicate. And then, uh, if you like to get really inky and messy, that's really pretty. I have to do one more because I've just spotted this. <laughs> Meg's going, go on, go on. Look, this is really funky. Oh, this is the one that I said looks like under the sea. There's something about it. Isn't that gorgeous? That's so clever. Love it. All right, let's show you what you're getting then. You've got the six dyes in total. So you've got the daisy, the cornflower, the chamomile, and then down the bottom you have got the marigold, periwinkle in the middle, and then the primrose at the end. And you're also getting the I.I. book. As we said earlier, either you might be new to die cutting or you might just be really needing some inspiration. I don't know about you as well, but sometimes we can get stuck in a certain style and then we go, oh, I'd quite like to try something different. When you look through this book, because the three designers, I would say, have different styles too. You know, you can either make it funky or grungy or nice and clean. 
Um, I see that one's really nice with the 3D effect. Oh, this is the one we just saw, so you'll be able to make that one. And then again, once you get going, you can put your own spin on it. That's the really contemporary one in the frame that we've just seen. Nice bit of inking. Oh, and, and the uh, papers in the background, so effective. And look at that. I mean, getting a bit of texture paste there and this die cut in the foreground um, really pops in the black. So you've got 30 projects in the II book. This is coming with the one day special. Um, now it is on Flexibuy, two payments of 39.97, or if you go for it outright at 79.93, this is a 21 pound saving. 010332 is your item number. Now, we have got a prize draw that we are giving away. So this prize draw will be announcing the winner at the end of the hour or pretty much towards the end of the hour. In order to be in with a chance of winning, you just need to make a purchase. You can buy anything that we've got on the show in this hour. You'll be entered into the prize draw and we'll announce the winner in about, I don't know, 10 minutes time or so. And we'll also be announcing another winner, somebody to come in on the 24th of August, but we'll be clear who's got what. 24th of August, you can come into the studio because that's our third birthday here at Hachanda. Wow, three years, it's flown by. Hasn't it? Absolutely flown by. Can't believe it. Oh. Right then, so um, we have got the set of 11 nested circle dies, which go brilliantly with the one day special. Yep. Um, stock wise we are three quarters gone wow. so probably won't be here tomorrow <laughs> um, now and like we were saying love this this, this is card. just very simple but very dramatic mm. um, Sheila did this and when I sort of I saw it I thought wow really it, it's just circles yeah but it's for me although it's just circles it's a designer paper mm. and a designer card just to do that yeah. um, and it is it, it's just so it's great for a young boy's birthday, an old boy's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 I think it's just brilliant. And then we have to show this. The umbrellas. Yeah, I yeah. love this. It's such a clever idea. Again, it's the paper engineering side of it. So it's yeah. using different designer papers. I think there's some of these in there. Um, Sheila's used on that. But isn't it fantastic? I mean, yeah. it's a gift. So um, lovely. This is lovely, isn't it? You know, somebody maybe who's maybe having a baby or just had a baby, just make yeah. this. It's perfect. But, I mean, you could do like pom poms as well. Oh it's yeah. Not necessarily. So there's another way you can do it. Just fold the circles in half mm -hmm. and join them all up to create balls. Yeah. Um, so like the pom poms. So you could do that in pinks or blues and everything. That would be brilliant. So for your nested dies, remember you're getting 11 of them in total. 19.99, It does have a freedom price as well of 17.99. Wow, that's. Good. Good. Now we do have um, some word chain stamps and um, these are on an amazing price. I know I wasn't sure about the price. Yeah you went when eight we, when, when you saw it. Yeah. I thought oh we've got a five pound saving and Meg went no it's 15 pound but what? Yeah. <laughs> so basically you've got the four different each of these word chains um, are 10 pounds each. Um, so basically you're getting one and a half of those as a bonus really. Isn't that good? Um, so you've got the four different sets um, and then you've also got a set of the, I think there's five mounts yep. in there. Yeah, five mounts. Um, and again, you've got, the reason they're called word chains is because they're actually joined together mm. just there. They've got like a little, what we call a little tang. So in the manufacturing process, um, they're held together. So when we're assembling them for the packing, it's easier rather than do sort of uh, 10 different stamps yeah. and then you get them the wrong way around or you put the wrong words in. And all you do is you just snip them off. So you, when you get them, you don't think, oh, I've got to use it all in one go. You mm. don't. You just snip them up to separate them. Um, and you mix and match. And Barbara created these using um, different fonts. She mm. loves the fonts. Yes, yeah, she does, yeah. Um, so as you can see, you've got dream, remember, imagine, magical, inspire, promise, lovely. And then we've got the ones on the bottom. Uh, so we've got hope, faith, joy. So obviously very, very inspirational words. Okay, so this is thirty-four ninety-nine, fifteen pound saving. Wow. Nine five eight four six three is your item number, and you've got the mounts as well. So this is just to show you in the in uh, live, in the if flesh. you will, in the flesh. So it's a uh, but we also have some other options for you. This is the birthday option, just coming onto the screen. And again, fantastic words that you'll use all the time for your cards for birthdays. Thirty-four ninety-nine again, fifteen pound saving. 874-118 is your item number.
Also, we have the Congratulations collection. Again, remember, they do come with the mount, set of five mounts, 3499-553-341. Do give us a call, 01733-60-2000, or check out on the website at hachanda.com. This is awesome. I like this. The fiery <laughs> colours and then the dusky colours. It just shows it's exactly the same dye, but how different they mm. look, just depending on the cardstock and depending on the paper that, that you use. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go for the, the nice fiery orange one. So we'll put those to one side. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in my plates. Okay. And I'm going to take a piece of the, I think this one is designer. Um, well, it is designer. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's Indian summer, I'm not sure. I have to say, that looks like, what do you call it, a solar Shelter, flare? Uh, you know. I don't think it's Northern Lights, I'm not sure. No, I, I don't think it's, it's Northern, Northern Lights, because I got that one. Um, I got that one. Well, I'll look that one up, if anyone. But it's just a really sort of nice and vibrant. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the die, which was that one, and I'm going to position that in the middle. And when it, if I just bring in the um, finished card, you'll see that we've got the various sort of different layers. So we've got the actual die, then we've got the white, and then we've got another layer there. Yeah. So I've got options. I could cut that large circle out of one piece, mm -hmm. but then I'm wasting what's in the middle. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build up my um, sort of layers and cut out all at the same time from one sheet. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to position that like there. So it means I'm not wasting mm. the bit that I'm going to cover up with a white card. So we'll bring the tape back into play. Um, so just while you're taping that down, because we are running out of time, so the prize draw winner for this hour, they're doing a drum roll in my <laughs> ear. This is Mrs. Jacqueline McDougall. Congratulations! Congratulations. So you have won nearly £60 worth of flowers wow, dyes. that's fantastic. That is a really good treat. Now, the next winner for the birthday invi invite is Miss Barbara Dawson. Congratulations. Congratulations. So you'll get to come in here, do excuse me, and um, meet everybody, have a look around the studios, have a really fun day, and hopefully bubbles and cake bubbles makes say. Yeah. Definitely cake, yeah. I reckon they should. If it's a birthday, yeah, they've got to have a birthday cake. cake Absolutely. There. So congratulations. So, we're just putting that through the machine now. There we go. And then we'll open up our sandwich. All this talk of sandwich is making me hungry. I know! <laughs> so, I'm going to bring in my waist, and then I'm just going to slowly peel off. Mm -hmm. There we go. Slowly peel it off. Nice stuff. There we go. You can see the waste is falling out instantly. Already. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it this way. I've got something to... There we go. So we can get rid of all of that in there. But look, you just see... Yeah. I mean, if you feel the weight of our dyes as well, Alex, mm. I mean, they're, they're sort of, they're not flimsy. No, not They've at all. They've got a good weight to them as yeah. well. Um, nice and sturdy. And with that coating, for me, I mean, I've used dyes for years and years and years in different companies and everything else. Um, and sometimes you'll spend just as long picking out all the oh, pieces, just so you can cut it again. Um, so here we go, we've got our two pieces now yep. that we're going to use. So we'll put those to one side. But again, you can use that for something <laughs> else. You yeah. can put it onto one of the larger cards and put something inside. Mm. So don't throw that away. So we'll just get rid of the waste over here. It doesn't want to come off. There we go. There go. It's just a static, yeah. that's all. It just keeps it there. Um, so we'll pop that into there. Put that to one side, and we'll then bring our car blank back into play. So, what I do need to do, I need to bring that back because I need to cut my circle of white out. Oh, right. So where's my piece of... Mm -hmm. well, actually, I've got one cut out already. That was handy. Blue so piece got, is tiny. <laughs> yeah, just saves a bit of time. Yeah. So then all we're going to do is then just create our layers, you see. So I can take that. Now I can decide to use the same side but I think that might be a little bit too much. So if I turn it over, ah. I've got that lovely muted Softened effect. Softened a bit. Yeah. And you can see, I mean, that really is, I don't need to stick it down, but you can see how quick and effective that can be. Mm. And then if I bring in the original one, depending on where you've put it, see, look, I've got the lighter area here on this one, 
and the lighter area up there. So it will always be different depending mm. on where you position it. I really like that. So. Thank you, Paul. That's all right. Awesome. So for your one-day special, we're just going to show you what you're getting. You've got six dies, really quite large dies. You've got the chamomile and friends aperture die. You're getting the cornflower, the marigold, primrose, daisy, and the periwinkle. Plus, you're getting the II book with lots and lots of inspiration from Dee, Sheila, and Wendy. Wendy, lovely. All right, so. Um, here is the one day special. We've got time to show a few more samples. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah. Um, this one, this one's really nice and dramatic as well. Because it is, I mean, again, you can make them a simple, I mean, look at the glitter on that. Yeah. I mean, that is just a real dazzler, isn't it? <laughs> and again, you've got the designer card behind there as well. Um, and using the circles to create the aperture. It just, for me, the designs um, and the, the circles, um, just bring it all together. They do, it don't really they? Is nice. And when we look at this one, the one that mm -hmm. says strength, we've had, um, I think Sheila's done that one. Yep, Sheila's done that. And she's actually taken some of it out so she could fit the word strength in. Right, okay. Um, let me see if I can find mm -hmm. that actual one that she's used, which is this one. Oh, perfect. There we go. So there it is, complete. Oh, and yeah. we'll just bring that over. So what Sheila's done is she's taken out the big flower mm -hmm. in the middle so that she can stamp the word in. Yeah. That, I mean, you can make them look completely different, yeah. can't you? Depending yeah. on what you take out. Oh, this is nice. Bit of drop shadow going on with this so one. So that one's by D. Um, so again, when we go in close on that, you'll see D's done some like, black dots where I did the white dots mm. on before. So again, and you've got the drop shadow where it's been offset with black behind it. Clever. Oh, look. How... How 60s is this one? That's groovy. Yeah. So again, so this one um, is Sheila. And what she has done, she's taken one of the toppers from Indian Summer and then she's taken a piece of double-sided adhesive behind it oh, yeah. and then covered it in glitter, in the Perga glitter nice. to give that lovely background. That is so lovely. Oh, look, I mean, they're all so different. This is another one, which okay. yeah. So Sheila's used um, sort of like metal foil um, to create this. I mean, Whoa, it's dazzling. look at that, isn't it? Like, it looks very sort of um, glazed, it does. doesn't it? That's on screen. That's so nice. Or you can go completely clean like this one. It's very, very fresh. Really nice for um, just a wedding card. Taking elements. I like that. She's chopped the yeah. elements around as well and popped them around. This is the one that's got the uh, micro beads behind it. Yeah. So again, um, Barbara did one with glitter, which we showed earlier in the six o'clock show, and it's a similar technique where you put the self-adhesive behind. Um, there we go. So Barbara yep. did this one with ah, glitter yes. in, at six o'clock. So instead of using glitter, um, that, the other one was done with micro beads. It's very clever. Oh, which one? Have, let's have a look. We'll go back over There's this so side. There's so many nice ones. I in know. There. Let's bring uh, this one up. There we go. Um, so this one. Oh, sorry. This is Sheila's. And just literally cutting the circle back out. I love she's added a bit of gems to it. There you go. <laughs> a little bit of bling. A bit of bling. And 3D'd it up. And then and this then one. Barbara did this at 6 o'clock and I love this. I just yeah. love the colours on this. It's very, um, a particular type of pottery. Oh, I know yeah, what you're you saying. Know, the, yeah, the blues. Uh, can we get the background? Ah, uh, yes, there because um, Barbara used the dye as a stencil as, a stencil. as well. stencil. And I'll be yeah. doing the same in one of the demos tomorrow as well. So if Excellent. So people can't watch on Rewind for whatever reason, mm -hmm. I'll be repeating that demo in a different colourway. Excellent. So there. once more, just before we finish, let's show you the one day special. You have got the six dye. These are the Floral Friends Aperture Dye Collection. You've got the Daisy, the Cornflower, Chamomile, and then down at the bottom there, over that side, you've got the Marigold, the Periwinkle, and the Primrose. And then very quickly, I'll just have a very <coughs> quick flick through. For me, through. The, the book is yeah. key to it, because if you're new to it like Barbara is, I know when um, she was going through and editing the book, and she went, I didn't know you could do this. I didn't, I didn't yeah. know you could do that. Yeah. Because again, Barbara wa wasn't aware of dyes until we brought out the fresh cut range. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been a learning experience for her. Um, and we was prepping the other day. She went, can you do this with it? And I went, I don't know. She tried it. Yeah. And what she did worked. And I know she's going to blog it at some oh, point this excellent. week. Oh, excellent. So. Yeah. So you are getting the II book with it. I mean, look at all these different, um, different styles and designs. Beautiful. Well, uh, 79 93 that's your one-day special price. Or on Flexibyte, it's two payments of 39 97 010332 is your item number. And Paul, we'll see you tomorrow at 9. You will indeed. Thank you, Alex. Hey, it's Thank been you. fun. See you soon.
coming up next we've got the jewellery box and then you can catch up with Paul for the one day special after that. Although that's a repeat, Paul wants to go to sleep. And then you've also got